I'm sick and tired going to funerals and watching little children saying Kaddish on their parents, and even worse, watching parents saying Kaddish on their children. But mostly, I'm sick and tired sitting in the military courts, watching the defendants from the Hamas who are looking at the judge's eyes, smiling at him and promising him that they will win. They will not win. We will win, because we are fighting for our national survival. When the Intifada broke out in 2000, and we saw that the uh, cafes are getting blown up in Israel, and uh, the blood goes on the streets, we wanted to let the terror victims to fight back. We wanted to get them a measure of justice. There was a way for private citizens, for private attorneys, to join the fight against terrorism. There is a law in the United States called the Aliens Tort Claims Act that is very, very old, and it allows non-American citizens to file lawsuits in the United States for crimes against humanity. On March 21st, 2002, I was walking home on King George Street here in Jerusalem with my seven-year-old son when a suicide bomber approaches from behind and detonated himself at this point, killing three people, including a pregnant woman and her husband, and wounding 87, including myself and my son. I had two screws passed through my left arm. Each screw knocked out one artery, and my son had the head of a screw passed fully through his right brain. And we'd like to see a measure of justice for that which we and other American victims have suffered. If Hamas has done a bombing, and there is a bank in Europe that provides financial services to Hamas, you go and file a lawsuit against the bank for adding and abetting a terror organization. And then the bank is risking hundreds of millions of dollars in damages, and therefore no bank agrees to transfer money to Hamas or Islamic Jihad or Islamic charities which are designated as terror organizations. If you cut the funding, you can cut the terrorism. If you stop the flow of the money, you stop the flow of the terrorism. As a result of these cases, they cannot move money around, they cannot open bank accounts, they cannot pay salaries, they cannot purchase anything, they cannot function. We are bankrupting terrorism, one lawsuit at a time. It's a very, very hard work. I hardly see my kids. Um, and it's a, it's a tremendous uh, sacrifice. It's um, something that as a, as a mother, as a woman, uh, causes you, uh, you know, guilt throughout the uh, days and nights and weeks and months and years. But in the end, there is nobody else to do it. The Torah taught us, Lo ta'amod al dam re'echa. Don't stand idly by your brother's blood. I will not stand idly by our brother's blood. I cannot afford it. <laughs> <laughs>